ESPN, we've got the Lafayette Leopards hosting the Holy Cross Crusaders facing off here. We've got Holy Cross taking on Lafayette College here this afternoon. Starting goalkeeper so far this season, Joe Doherty on Lafayette College. He is a freshman goalkeeper, Hunt Sullivan. That goes wide. Right there, you see Sullivan taking his short stick defensive midfielder behind the cage. That's called an invert getting those players in situations they're not used to on the field. Peter Lehman turns and Lafayette College Lehman with his 25th of the season. ...of this team right there. Gonna go one-on-one, -on -one, turn the corner and get it on the ball. That's Connor Boyle, the senior midfielder. And 12 takes a shot. TJ Lynch, he's a gets his first goal of the season. And 12 year from Westport, Connecticut, gonna get his hands free and blow it past the cross. Will maintain possession there with a free open look, saved by the crossbar. And Lafayette just dodged a bullet there. Holy Cross taking advantage of the quick restart. And a quick one-two punt. Brother Jacob Freeman and why he was moved to the defensive end. Well, the same three possession here for the Leopards. No need to rush. Get into a, a look you want to see. Too quick there for the Leopards. Lehman. And Carter Cecil with his seventh of the season. Carter Cecil finds the soft spot in the defense. You see. One thing to look there. You see all the attention. Peter Lehman, 14 and white gathers he's so smart whereas he just makes the simple pass and from the top Charlie Cunniff connect for their fourth goal of the game Kalman with his 15th of the season and it's the passing by Cunniff to thread the pitch coach Trepper doing a great job with this program trying to build it back up Oh, he knows a thing or two. And we uh, get a shoot and a score. Sorry to get back to him. Thomas McIntyre right on cue with his 27th. In the versatility. He's alley dodging. He's an attackman. Top. Right here, back to that invert look. Great behind the back shot. He gets his second of the game. Or in invert situations, they're quick to slide there is Holy Cross. Skip lane is open. No, Holy Cross wants to create that last shot and a possession advantage, not giving them a chance to get the ball back. You got to think you want to give McIntyre that ball right before. But it won't be McIntyre half before the second quarter, rather, 5-3. East Mount pays off here. 35 in purple, just going to get top side, sweeping to the middle of the... There, one, eight, one more. The look from the point, one second. And traffic in front gives it back. To and it's interesting, he missed a month, but he's still one of the leading scorers on this Lafayette team. So it just shows, goes to show how much he produces in a single outing. Right up front, 1v1 McIntyre with his second of the game, 28th of the season. McIntyre's game dodging, but also off ball. All eyes on Lynch. Made with for the most part. But the possession advantage is. They've done a really nice job, and... The Leopards at times have done a nice job. They have to make some adjustments here. Mm -hmm. And a great, again, it's McIntyre point-blank shot to beat Doherty for the hat trick. Here, 
This is just a pinpoint precision pass by four. Turned the ball over five times in this one. Make that six. And Vincent picking the pocket. And it's on fire, his fourth goal of the game and third in a row. Holy oh, Vincent on the defensive end. And then in trans... Dean Donano. That's a great save by Doherty. And really great offense by Holy Cross as well. We mentioned McIntyre creating opportunities. Wow, stutter step and Collins, the senior midi gets his second of the season. And number 21, Brian Collins in transition. Touching opportunities before they can set up are gonna be important. Yeah, you could see Peter Lehman kind of directing the offense. Quick up front, quick stick goal from right. And the Leopards setting up in their zone. Offense, double cut, action, Sullivan. Recruited, but he wants them to see what he's done with this program and the work that they put in is paying off. And a lot of those guys, they don't get to see the fruits of their labor, but they're a big part of the success. And top of the crease, 1v1 for Riley Sullivan. His second... Right here, it's going to be a similar cut look here, and Cram going to feed the cutting Sullivan. He tries to find Aiden Copen. And it's that cut from the top that didn't connect on the pass, but there was an opportunity there. That's been working for the Leopards here. If you're Holy Cross, you want to definitely see man, see ball a little bit better. And a low shot from with his fourth street goal of this quarter. 31 in purple. A little bit of an unsettled situation. Gets to his strong right hand. Looks like he got a piece of someone, but goes wide. That'll be a reset to 60 seconds. Shot. Wow from Kalman Cram, he went low high. It looked like it got a deflection and just- Here, Cecil gets it to Cram and it's wow. deflected off the close. I believe that was Mathis in the right place at the right time, throws it away again. And that's a huge, huge situation right here. Holy Cross with numbers and a pole and we've got a long- Julian Jenkins, the freshman defender, gets his first of the season. Ball, and then the turnover by the Leopards leads to this opportunity by Julian Jenkins. And a quick shot goes wide. And a hard bouncing shot him his fourth of the game and first goal of this third quarter. Defender is Cecil off the low base and there's no rotation I think you will see in the Patriot League tournament should they continue to play this way. I like the confidence and hey anything can go in that Patriot League tournament as we've mentioned in this broadcast and our last broadcast and a great opportunity there with his 15th of the season. We talk about his dodging ability, but how about his ability to take advantage off ball? Momentum and get into a rhythm here on offense. Great open look for Liam Sargent. And Liam Sargent, the tendencies, going to take the short stick behind the cage. And then on the wing, get... Yet. ...can take their time. And that was Liam Sargent's seventh goal of the season, making it 12-8. to eight. Now, is here where the run starts to get a bit too much for Holy Cross. We shall see, Borg. And Conniff, 22 of the free possession, gets underneath, gets the... Now. 
Good job by the Holy Cross defense to get organized as they went from man down to even. That's a dangerous situation when you make that change. They'll need to shoot here, and they do the shovel shot. That is his 19th of the season. Talk about the ball movement right there. Cuniff going to draw the double team, and he's going to dish it. We'll get one minute for slashing. For Holy Cross here, take your time. Get into your actions to create those looks. Quick shot and score. Top shelf for month of the season. Speaking of stuff. Junior from Chaminade. Gonna get his hands free and get it past the... Every time someone follows me, they're... Great defense from the Leopards. Profile picture keeps covering my face. And why? And a wide open look. And again, top... And it starts, which creates an odd man situation on the back side. And this Crusader team finds quarter, both from Matt Major, the junior attackman. Shot here, deflected again. It's Matt Major. Goals from Major. And for the Crusaders, we talked about for this team, and we talked about other guys stepping up. Major says, I'll be your Robin. In the third, Peter Lehman without a goal since 11.44 in the first quarter. He was first to score this game, and he's been pretty quiet since. 15 to 11, Lafayette. Quinn White. When his team needs it, he delivers right on. Now we talk about Lehman drawing attention. You can see it right here, go down to his knees. Wow, what an amazing thing for the beautiful finish. 16-11 Lafayette. But Peter Lehman, he's got tremendous vision. And then right there, Duncan, after Lehman. See if Cecil behind the cage, back doors, his defender out of that look. Muller with a wide open look, gets a piece of it, picks up the rebound, and Fuller ecstatic for his fourth of the season. And this is the second time where Lafayette has gotten a goal off of the block. do it from Fisher Stadium. Lafayette picks up their fifth win of the season, second in the Patriot League. And when to turn it on, and they did that today. Second win in league play, setting up a huge matchup next week.